Are you recording? Yep. Are you recording? Yep. Okay, good. This is flower power, and we're going to consider this a part two, because in part one, we would have gone over the basics in fusion of how to model uh, your flower and use it as a template or a guide. Now, the goal here is to not only plasma cut these, but also to hand cut these and use, use this as a guide. We could just say, hey, take some sheet material and start cutting out flowers. Uh, that would be complete manual, complete um, by eye and by hand. So instead, we're using a template system where we would cut out and relief, create a, a positive image on material by cutting this out, laying it, and spraying it. So let's just go over a little bit of basics on that. I've got this one we've already used as a guide. This was our positive dropout from it. Um, for this process, we're going to use a razor blade. Now, keep in mind, just be careful with these, right? They are very sharp. So we've got to peel off the protective outing, outer coating. Industry-wise and in automotives, etc., these are used all the time for cutting uh, lines, for painting and masking. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go right on the line, split that line. I'm on a very smooth surface, which is this um, baking sheet. And I can get super exact with this. And if I really into this stuff, then auto body is for me. Because you get to do this stuff when you do custom painting all the time. So I'm following these, right? And that's going to relieve this. It's going to take a little bit of time for me to get my template. Once I get my template out, then I'm going to get some material to spray. And we'll demonstrate that next. So you can pause. So right we've taken the time to cut out and create a negative uh, of our flower. I already used this one, but we're going to use it as an example. We're going to find material, a uh, color that we want, yellow most likely for the petals, or maybe white. We're going to lay that over an area, and we'll try to use the least material possible. So we're going to slide that down until we just expose the uh, corner edges, and then hold it in place like this. We're going to dust this with spray. We do not need a lot of spray at all. It's only an indicator to uh, where we need to cut. So to turn on our um, spray booth here, we got the motor and the light. Turn the motor on. The motor's gonna suck air out of here and filter it. I've shaken this can for a minute. There's a slug in the bottom that agitates it for at least a minute. And then I'm just gonna dust this lightly. I want these to lay down. Nice, like that. just spray this we have a protective coating on this anodized that peels off it's going to peel off and give us that really nice look okay so we've got a guideline now and now we need to spend some time building our forearm strength and tin snipping these out so we've got our red cutters here. Remember, red is a right cutter, which means this will cut straight and it will cut to the right easily. It will cut to the left, it's just more work. And what we're going to do is, we've already, we've already kind of hacked this out so that we've got most of the material taken away. Remember that we can cut to the right easily. So this cut right here should be fairly easy to do and to be able to turn while we are cutting until we get to that relatively straight area. I'm gonna cut all the way down to the bottom. I have to help this a little bit or bend it up. This is going to take some time. We figured, I'm, I'm caught right here. So I can actually just relieve this. Cut that out of the way. Oh man, that's so much easier. We figured maybe 10 or 15 minutes per Cut out, and if you're overlapping or laying over three of these, you're going to have half an hour, 45 minute workout in your forearms. When you get down to the bottom like this, you can fatigue that away. Depending on how you want to finish your flower petals, they're supposed to be radius, so you just want to be really consistent with that. I don't have a great guide here, so I'm just going to cut. Oh, that's terrible, and it's totally just cut flat. I can nibble these away. And we are going to do some finished sanding on these edges to try and get our radius consistent. Bottom line is I want to take some time to make this look 
like a natural or organic curve. That's looking better, okay? So I take the time to do that. You can see from a straight cut here to where we're actually starting to rough in or really finish these off. Maybe we trim a little bit here, but we're going to make a series of these so that we can overlay them. We can splay them, splay the, the leaves on uh, them in order to get an overlap or an offset. That is our goal, okay? Um, the last part of this will be about how we're going to go ahead and assemble these or put them together, mechanically fasten them together. See?